going to talk to you about organizing your code using interfaces, how you can do that. And I'm going to show how to do this, how to use this idea to produce some rather flexible and useful graphics classes, which enable you to construct uh, objects with moving parts. Every variable you define in computer science, when you're writing a program, has a type. A variable is a little bit of your computer memory. I think the most useful way of describing an interface is as a special way of giving meaning to a small block of memory. This interface is called I recursive drawable. All interfaces by convention begin with I. What I can do is I can have an array of transform generators. In the first instance, I'm simply going to display the static cube. You can do a lot with a cube. I can squash my cube however I like. I've just extended it here because helicopters are usually longer than they are um, wide, and so we can see it in perspective. I produced a turning heli rotor there. This is our first multi part object which actually moves. It turns as a function of the game time, and you can see it's just floating slightly above that cube. I think the next thing I want to do is I want to make the body flap. So then I need to add some code to construct my rocking body. I need to draw it. Any multi-part drawable objects, I can then combine together into more multi-part drawable objects. We're going to have it flapping twice per second and a flap amplitude of 0.5 radians. So once again, we've, these, the, the rotor and the, and the, and the rocking body of the same class, it's a bit of a wild ride. Finding out if two circles are overlapping, you find out how far away the center is from each other, and then you see if that's smaller than the sum of the radiuses of the circles. In 3D, What's a circle in 3D? A sphere, yeah. So we can surround everything with spheres. We can have, if you like, collision bubbles, and things collide if their bubbles go against each other. Not everything is a sphere. You might suddenly discover a great, I, I suppose in Star Wars, the Death Star is pretty much a sphere, isn't it? It must have greatly simplified collision calculations in their, in their graphics. <laughs>